excited, but I'm gonna go get my hair cut and colored today. So I have been wanting to do this for a very long time, never really wanting to like chop my hair off, but it is just so dead on the ends that I'm like, okay, you know what? You gotta try new things. And I love like lob haircuts on other people, like long bobs on other people. I just never thought it would really look good on me. So today I'm gonna go get a haircut. I'm gonna get my hair colored a little bit darker and then get some like baby lights, which are just small, tiny little highlights throughout my hair. So I thought I would take you guys along with me for the hair transformation. So I'm going to a new salon today. I can't wait to show you the girl that's doing my hair. I researched her on Instagram and she's amazing with short haircuts. So I'm excited to bring you guys along. I just wanted to show you guys the before, before I went. This is the color and this is what it looks like it's just really gold and I'm just tired of having damaged hair and it's really not growing much anymore either just because it keeps breaking off so this is my inspiration pics if you guys want to see this is the haircut I'm trying to go for so just a very long angled bob I love how it gets longer in the front to create that look that you still have long hair but it's very textured and nice and pretty and I think I can cut all this off and still have like healthy hair. Now this is the color I'm going for, like a dark rich brown. I know my hair is already a dark brown but it's a little bit lighter and for fall I like going a little bit darker. And then I've had baby lights before. I don't know if you guys can see them. This is when I had almost close to black hair. But if you guys can see those little tiny highlights, that is what I'm going for today. I just want a little bit of contrast. Not too much to where it kind of ends up looking brassy once the toner washes out, but just a little bit. So that is what I'm going for. And then I like that ashy kind of cool tone in my baby lights. So that's what I'm gonna ask her for. So nothing too warm. And then these are the bangs I'm trying to go for. Um, I have bangs already and this is what they look like. They're very grown out and they're kind of just more like straight across bangs though and I'm really wanting them to be like gradually shorter to longer. So hopefully she can do that for me. I love when you like pull up your hair and you still have like your front pieces hanging out. I think that's so cute. So that's what I'm trying to go for today. I thought I would just show you guys that. I will take you guys to the salon with me. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is Emily, and she's gonna be doing my hair, and she's gonna kind of be telling you guys what she's doing today. All right, so today we're gonna do some baby lights, and we're gonna keep it all pretty cool toned, and we're gonna take her natural base a ton darker as well. So we're gonna do kind of a dark, ashy brown with some light, ashy dimension. So we're also gonna cut a lot off as well and give her some bangs. So we're gonna do a little chopping first, just so we're not wasting color. And we're gonna cut it a little bit on the longer side to start out with so that we have a little more to play with later. So here we go. Yay! Yeah, like where do you wanna see it? Like here? Maybe? Um yes. So I think right below like a little shorter. Right below the collarbone, okay. maybe. Yeah. So probably like that much longer, like an inch. Yes. Maybe. Yeah, I think that'd be perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I've never been short before. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. But it's like I have to style my hair for it to look good. You I was know? gonna say, yeah, a lot of times with this length, it looks a lot cuter when it's styled. Yeah, but I feel like baby lights look better curled anyways because you really so see too. the dimension. Yeah. Let's just look how dry it's doing. We're gonna start a little longer. Okay. okay. I'm so Yes. Okay. All right, guys. So Mackenzie is putting all of the dark base 
color where the baby lights are. And so I'm so excited to see how this turns out. I have two girls working on me right now. So I'm feeling pampered. All right guys, so we're all done. Well, we're not all done. <laughs> we are in the, I don't know, what do you call this stage? The stage, the processing stage. The processing stage. And she's putting some lights on me. And I'll be under here for about 30 minutes. It feels warm and nice. Okay guys, so we're now at the wash bowl. What's your name? I'm Maddie. Maddie, okay, she's gonna wash my hair out. And are you gonna tone my hair as well? Um, so we're gonna have Emma come over after we shampoo it and she's gonna pick um, how she wants to tone it. Okay, awesome. Well, I'm super excited to see it. Yeah. <laughs> what did you use to wash my hair? It smells so, so yeah. good. We used the R Co um, moisturizing shampoo okay. and then the Unite uh, 7 Seconds Conditioner. Ooh. Yeah. I've seen that in Sephora before. The R Co. area make sure to go see Emily at the dandelion hair salon she's amazing so I'll have all her information down below if you guys want to see her Instagram or get in touch with her she did an absolutely amazing job I, I'm just obsessed so you guys saw me ask for darker hair with a few like ashy baby lights and I don't know if you guys can see them in camera but they're very like smoky and ashy and that was exactly what I was wanting. So she just listened to me and like did it. She was she was amazing. So I would not regret this decision one bit. If you're considering cutting your hair, wait until you really want to do it. 
I wouldn't say like just go chop it off because you have like a feeling one day that you want to do it. I booked my appointment like two weeks in advance so I really had some time to like think about it and prepare myself and just say like I want healthy hair and that's what I that was my goal. So I'm really so excited that I did it and it was just it was just perfect timing and I researched the girl I made sure she was really good at lobs at long bobs and she was like I was kind of nervous because it was my first time going to see her but she was so sweet and she really took time on my hair and like just listening to what I wanted and explaining things in detail so well so I love my haircut so much if you guys are considering getting your hair done I, I would say do it I would definitely say do it. I have like a longer face, a heart shaped face. So I was nervous about how it would look and I'm pretty tall as well. So I was like, I don't know about short hair and like how it would look on my body. But honestly, it is so cute. I had her hit like just a little bit below the collarbones and it's also curled right now. So it's a little bit shorter than it. It normally would be like straightened and I think this is how I'm gonna style it and then when I was at the salon I picked up this texturizing spray it's dry finishing spray by the brand unite and it doesn't feel hard or crunchy at all it's just a very light mist and it just feels so good so I'm really hoping that I can style this hairdo by myself I also love my bangs I love how she cut them I asked for like Bridget Bardot inspired bangs and then I love when you pull your hair up that you still have these like little bangs hanging out like that's my favorite thing ever and I can still pull my hair up too which is super nice so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope it was really helpful to you if any of you guys are deciding to cut your hair and if you are let me know if you did it in the comments down below thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye